welcome to the succulent home and I'm gonna do a potting video with you so go get a pot go get your plants house plants succulents whatever is your liking and let's pot together okay so I think this is the last week of my fluorescent juicy lemonade nail color before I switch it out I usually don't do like bright colors but hey you know I was filling myself for the summer Today I'm going to do a few succulents that I got that's going to incorporate a few that my husband got me on his work trip. He got me these from Northern California all the way close to Oregon in the good old city of Eureka, Humboldt County. Look at those. Aren't those beautiful? This one is an Echeveri, Echeveria Pulidonis. It's a native to Mexico. Forms arching spikes with yellow bells, shaped flowers when it, you know, blossoms. It says that to protect from frost, which I don't have to really worry about that here, provide bright light hardy to 36 Fahrenheit to three inches plus water thoroughly when soil is dry okay and then I got let's see then I got this one which is the golden glow stone crop it's drought tolerant when it's established it's a native to Mexico and it says it needs well draining soil water thoroughly when soil is dry to the touch forms spreading an excellent oh ground cover or hanging basket white flowers in spring protect from um, frost oh so these spread which good I like that and I also believe that when they get stressed out like by the sun they turn like a real yellow that's why um, they call them golden glows, I believe. I think that's, yeah. I feel like something just bit me right here. I'm also going to incorporate these Kalanchoe right here. It's a um, Farragata. I love these. I used this particular um, succulent in my, um, my mom's Mother's Day um, arrangement but I just love how beautiful this is. I love the, you know, the pink tips and I think that these two together in the arrangement is gonna look beautiful. I also think I'm going to use this um, Graptovia, Tover, Toveria um, hybrid and I think she's gonna do better in a bigger pot and I'm hoping that she's gonna get bigger. She really has, I mean, I've had her in such a small pot, so I'm going to probably incorporate her too. I maybe do these girls, not quite sure, but I think I am going to use these aloe that um, they look a little beat up. Look at there's a baby coming right here. They look a little beat up. These were from my front, um, my front yard um, succulent um, garden. At, up in the front you've probably seen these but here goes another one another little one coming out I just think the colors of the blue hues and the lavender that's already taken place along with the sage green is gonna look good next to the Kalanchoe and um, this little girl right here I'm just gonna clean it up just a little bit before I get started this white pot I got from my local Rayleigh's it's for those of you who don't know what Rayleigh's is it's like your your local Albertsons or Safeway or just your local grocery store that's down the street from you they were 50% off so I got this for pretty much only um, $10 it does give me the option to hang it but I think I'm going to go ahead and take these off and I'm going to use this for another hanging basket arrangement and not this particular one right here. Yeah, 
you could see how the roots are. Look at just how big these roots are. They were getting pretty darn um, deep, growing real deep. I love to recycle other um, succulents around the yard. I love when they start multiplying because then you have the ability to make an arrangement with them. That's why I love propagating too. That's why I love succulents. It's one of the things that attract me to um, this hobby of discovering my green thumb with succulents and cactus is because one of the main reasons is because they just produce like in the long run they kind of save you money if you get your propagation game down pretty good after I clean it up I think it's gonna be able to like really flourish too you can see another if you look real close you see that one right here that little baby Okay. Try to get all the webs out. That way it can just look really nice. I don't want to wet it on the inside. If you do a good shaking, these these particular um, aloes are really hardy. They can handle a good like shaking and tugging at. They're not fragile by any means. They're really like sturdy aloes and they don't hurt to the touch they have like these little they kind of remind me of octopus testicles or like squid right here they feel like rubbery almost okay so that's pretty much all cleaned out let me go ahead and use this to dump everything out in So I'm going to go ahead and take these um, out since I'm not going to use this as a hanging arrangement. I don't think I am. I like the other baskets that are black wire. Well guys, it happened again. I'm telling you, I need to get a new camera. Slowly but surely, I will. But it cut out. No more memory. That's what happens when you have an old camera. It doesn't hold as no, enough memory when you're doing some of these longer potting videos. You have to like constantly erase and then re-record. So let me just give you a brief ending. Kalankoe was new. This one, new for my husband. This one was the new one for my husband. This one, these ones, these ones, those were all ones I already had in my collection. These ones came from the front succulent garden in the front yard. And the other ones were specimens that I had on their own. So hopefully you like this arrangement. Thanks for getting to know me. And until the next video, God bless. Bye.